Furry Meme Review. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to our usual scheduled program of reading memes and laughing at stuff that are either inappropriate or just downright unmonetizable. <laughs> so, there was a significant lack of furry meme reviews, uh, why you may ask, because a certain lamb has taken over my life for the past weeks or so. I think you know what I'm talking about, it is Cult of the Lamb, a game that is by far the most viewed content on my channel, and we are going to be continuing that momentum by reading memes derived from the Cult of the Lamb. Let's begin. Just because I play Cult of the Lamb doesn't mean I'm a furry. Well, I am a furry, but not because I play Cult of the Lamb. Here's the thing, I feel like there are more normies who play this game than furries. I'm a furry myself, and for the most part, not a single one of my friends play this game, which I find strange for some reason. Ah, I finally found it. After 15 years, how to get the wolf form for followers. Sacrifice of that Yeah! <laughs> uh, I don't care how you run your cult, but never, ever sacrifice the Rat Father. The Rat Father lives. Oh my god, guys! I found, I found Lambi! IRL! Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh, I want one. I want one. I, I want one like a plushy one. I, I don't actually want an actual uh, demon goat that runs around my house, but it's so cute though! I love it! Even if it has like a 90% chance of sacrificing my soul to Baphomet, I will love it either way. <laughs> People talking to me in the morning! Me processing the trauma of waking up. Yeah, yeah, it, it be like that sometimes. One moment you are the god of death chained up in limbo by your fellow gods, and the other, then you wake up and you realize you're married to someone that took your job as the god of death. <laughs> very, very relatable. Me coming back from a crusade. Uh, my cult going through a complete breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta say, okay, Cult of the Lamb is an amazing game. I would say, in my opinion at least, in terms of indie games, it's right up there with Undertale. But the one thing that I don't like about this is how stupid the follower NPCs are. I mean, granted, you need to be just a little bit stupid in order to get indoctrinated into a cult. That's a given. But I would be gone for like 10 minutes for a crusade, and when I come back, anarchy has happened. I have had three elders die, two followers are sick, there's at least one dissenter that's screaming their ass in the corner somewhere, and there is just shit everywhere. And that is after I have built three outhouses already. Why are they so stupid? And speaking of surplus stupidity, I would give this zero stars if I could. What a sick, twisted game to give kids to play. This is why the West is lost now. There is no value of good and evil being taught to kids. They try to convince everything evil is good. These games come off as innocent, but slowly turn the child's thoughts to evil as they grow older. Before anyone starts telling me I'm being dramatic, I used to play games that were all about killing when I was a kid. As I grew older, I had so much hate in me. The only thing I could fantasize about how I could kill someone and get away with it. I feel like that's your problem personally. You need to like see a psychiatrist. Thank god I was forced to stop playing these kinds of games before it was too late. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves for trying to make money off the at the kit at the cost of innocent children. You are truly sick hearted. And uh <laughs> Christian zealots are at it again. Yay! Unlike the stupidity that your followers may have had in the game, at least it's not that contagious. It's generally kept within the cult area. That's fine. But reviews like this. This is the kind of stupidity that could put COVID to shame. <laughs> what is worse is, 10 people, 10 gullible people found this helpful. What the fuck? People saying Cult of the Lamb is satanic. Me, crying when my favorite follower died. Aww. <laughs> I don't have a uh, favorite follower. I haven't I haven't yet found the one follower that I actually could like. All of them are just useful idiots to me. But it's always so sad when a follower dies. I I may not have liked them enough to mourn them, but it's sad to see them go, you know? Ho would Dinner it is my cat. What? Who would Dinner it is my cat. 
What do you mean? Leshy turns into a giant tunneling worm. Hecate turns into a giant frog with multiple tongues. Calamar. Raise up, little bitch. I mean, it makes sense. He has all those tentacles. Of course, he'll use them to hold weapons. And I admire that, okay? He had enough courage to let us all know that tentacles aren't just for hentai. You perverts. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what's going on here, the, they're resurrecting the queen. <laughs> they're doing a, a resurrecting uh, thing on the queen. <laughs> Can't even talk. <laughs> oh, you sick bastards. Oh. No, no, no. Y'all are going to hell. You're all going to hell, and I'll be there too because I laughed at this. Eh. <laughs> but of course, before we get into any more memes for today's video, let's go check out our Patreon shoutouts. We got Fox Demon, Whisper Whisper, Carapini, Keo Plays, Anti Thesis, Leon Pharma, Voltage, PNO Creations, Werewolf Detective Pa, 845, The Unknown Fluff, Luna Snowball Epi, Jig GR, and the probably the newest one. I haven't announced them yet, but here we go. The Snowy Snom Nom. Thank you so much for becoming a patron and to the people who stayed during these past few weeks. Thank you guys so much for staying and supporting the channel. It means so much to me. You guys couldn't believe how much. And if you guys want, also want to be uh, supporters and Patreon supporters, you might want to go down to the description or the pinned comment where I have pinned and posted the link to my all of my socials and also all of my uh, donation pages. Yeah, you might want to go do that. Let's go back to some memes. Yay! Everyone came to my birthday! Yay! And it, all it took for people to show up is to sacrifice the souls of the non-believers. That is amazing. Happy birthday, dude! What? What happened? They looked themselves up on Twitter.com. <laughs> uh, I've been saying this for years, man. I've been saying this for years. Rule 34 artists are a different breed of artists. They will loot the unlootable, and that is not an exaggeration. They, they look at a plane and went, hmm. What if it had thick thighs and boobs? It, a, a, a very satanic adjacent lamb is like unconquered land to them. That it's standard procedure for them to basically loot everything that they see. <laughs> Show them. Show them. Shawarma? Oh no! <laughs> oh, get, go to hell, dude. Go to hell, whoever made this. You can. <laughs> I hate it. I hate that it made me cackle like a freaking moron. <laughs> ah. And that brings us to the end of this video. This was fun. Okay, I didn't. I. Did, I why didn't I think of doing this sooner? Like, going to the subreddit of Cult of the Lamb and just review the memes there. This is fun! I miss doing meme reviews like this. Oh my god. Also, if you guys enjoyed watching today's video, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Because, uh, it's very, very hot in my new room. But, uh, you know, the, uh, quality, audio quality is actually quite better. But, yeah, um, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been your fellow Cook Cookboss88. And I'll be seeing you guys again in the next video. Stay foxy, much love.